Hi everyone, I'm back and we're going to pour this one. Uh, I mixed up a lot of colors. Oh, forgot the cup. And we're going to pour right over the middle, let it flow, and we'll see what happens. Um, this is uh, the Naples yellow. I did lighten it up a little bit with white. Oh, I know what I forgot. I forgot the silicone. Okay. Silicone. I want nice big cells. Better put some in, in the cup here too, just to be safe. Mixing up all the colors. I have orange and I have, of course, my my beautiful turquoise. And I have some burnt sienna. I have Van Dyke Brown. They're all uh, Windsor and Newton, of course. We'll see what happens. Now, pouring in some of that turquoise from up high because that's going to come out pretty much last. So I'm going to give it a good slosh of orange. Good slosh of the burnt sienna. And then I'm going to come in with a lot of browns. Ooh, drip. And a little bit more of that orange because I think it really does something to the colors, brings them all out. Okay, a little bit more of this. I think we have enough. Now, what's going on here is kind of cute all by itself. That's kind of nice. Okay, I'm going to pour it right out of the hand. There we go. Ooh, those are beautiful cells. But I really want more turquoise in it. And I will have to do something because these little bubbles have to come out. That's okay. It doesn't really have to be that much. This is not easy, as you can see. This is okay. I, I see all the bubbles popping up. I think I'll just have to do a little more mixing. Good thing I got a lot of paint. There's a lot of paint dripping off. But I'd like it a little bit lighter on the sides though. We'll see what happens. With this. Okay, let's move this stuff. 
Oh, the edge down here. I got to move it because it's otherwise it's going to be way, way, way too much paint right over the edge. Wow, that's a lot of paint on the table. Okay. Where's the cup with all the paints? I'll have to do something to it. I sort of like what's going on here, but what's going on here is not so cool. Can we come again? Yep, that I like. Going to do the same thing up here. Too bad there's not enough white. Just give it a little bit more. Gotta fix up the sides a little bit. Oops, don't fall down. That's it. Okay, so much I like, but now I still want something going on in the middle here. This one here. Gotta turn it around. Okay, that's good. This is a lot of paint. I got all the sides covered now. Uh, interesting, but not yet ready. So, and I would like a little bit more turquoise because I'm missing the turquoise. Let's see what we can do with that. But I, oh yeah, right here. That's cool. 
cool. That's nice. Let's turn it all the way around. And I got all my cups missing. They're sticking to the bottom. Oops. That turned out nice. Maybe here a little bit here. nice I like that I'm gonna leave it like this Maybe a little bit more Remember that this is going to be all metallics. So that's going to be metallic stuff going on on there. I got a lot of cell stuff going on here. I got some stuff going on there. I think it's, this is it. Uh, I don't think I can really lift it up because then the paint will start pouring off. Let's see. Where's the other cup? I had four cups. Well, all I have to do with three. Don't know where the other one went. Still something missing. Let me see. Maybe pulling it a little bit. Like that. Yeah, it's not making those really tight lines, so I'm going to stop with this. I thought it would make some really nice tight lines, but it isn't. It all depends on your paint, if you can get those nice, I'll call them Rick Chattel lines, but, you know, sometimes it just doesn't work with certain paints. Just leave it like that. I think I've got enough interesting parts going on. This is going to be the metallic when I finish, when it's dry, I'm going to put that on. Then I'll um, sort of patina, you know, when you put uh, copper, then I'll put some uh, of that really nice turquoise uh, patina in it and that'll make it all pop up and then it'll be ready. So um, this is it. Let me put it away for a bit. because I've got a lot of paint on the table which I'd like to do something with. Okay. Oh, there's the other cup. That's coincidence that I just put them in on top of each other. Now, let's see what we can do. Scoop that up.
see. Not totally uh, over the moon with uh, this because you know the more I'm gonna use it now, the more it's gonna turn into some sort of a jade jade green color. Let's see if we can do one more. Is nice. I'm pretty sure that's going to turn into something. Not really impressed. There it went, all green. <laughs> no. That we don't like. Okay, one more. One, one more. Oops. Got a little dirty. But that doesn't matter. Let's put it on the cup here. As you may have noticed, the uh, paint I just used was thinner than I normally use uh, because I wanted those little uh, 3D balls popping through the paint. Uh, and if you pour too thick, the layer will be too thick and of course you'll lose all the effects of the 3D balls. But another thing that happens when you use your paint too thin is um, what you do, uh, like you saw when I poured all those cells just exploded, that's because the paint is so thin that that silicone, even without a torch, comes to the top. So um, I've had a lot of questions about people asking me, do I really need a torch? Well, you don't. If you can really exactly um, get the consistency of the paint to uh, the thickness that, that you need to let the, the silicone release by itself, then you don't need a torch. But it is a very thin line. I'm telling you, it's really a thin line because you really have to know exactly what you're doing. I'm not sure if you can see how it's coming off the off this palette knife. Nah, you can't really see it like that. Maybe if I use the bigger one because this is this is really that thin. See that? And this is where you don't need a torch. 
Let me do it one more time. You don't have to look at the color because the color doesn't matter. It's all about the consistency. See how thin it is? Then then you'll, your silicone will be on the top before you even get your hands on a torch. So that, see how it works? There's a little bit there that I don't really like this, but okay. Let me do that again. See? It's just exploding with cells because uh, this the uh, paint is so thin. Let me put some really light colored paint in there. This is uh, from yesterday, but just to show uh, to show you my point. See that? So you wouldn't even need a torch because it just pops through because it's so thin. Of course, when you add torching, you'll get just a little bit more cells. But this, that is really beautiful. I really like that. Too bad that the bottom color is such a muddy, muddy, poopy color, but the veins on this is just stunning. I really love that. Wow. Let's do that one more time. Can't save it anyway. Yep, that's uh, that's pretty much it. See here when I torch here. Nothing happens because the silicone is already on the surface. So I hope that helps you just a little bit to uh, figure out why, if you're not getting cells, why you're not getting cells. Too thin a paint will just, you know, release it straight away. And if you don't pour it with a little bit of um, movement, you won't get nothing. And if you don't have a lot of... Um, if you don't have a lot of layering colors uh, on top of each other, you won't get cells at all. That is really beautiful. I love those uh, veins. That's the lacing that we call lacing. That is really pretty. Too bad I can't pick that up. And too bad the under color is so uh, grubby because I would have really liked to use that. Okay, that's it guys this is the last one from t for today I was gonna do a resin uh, resin uh, thing but you know I just looked at the last resin I did and um, it was on really thick ple plexiglass and it sort of warped a little on me so I was thinking wow that is amazing because I, I really went for the thicker poly poly uh, glass and it's still uh, warped so what I'm gonna do well, my husband is going to do that. He's going to go and uh, get me some glass, and I'm going to pour on glass. And the only thing that can happen there is it'll uh, it'll burst the uh, the glass. It'll you know just break it, or it'll stay like that. So um, we'll see. And I'm imagining that when I put a, a layer of resin on like six millimeter glass, that it will also you know just give it a, a, a different dimension because of the um, the transparency of the glass. So that's another experiment coming up. But that'll be next weekend because I won't be doing any videos this week. I have like for three hours ironing stuff upstairs, which I have to do. So I'm going to be doing a little cleanup in the home and then I'll be back next weekend. So thanks all for watching. Um, Thanks for all the sweet comments you guys leave me and I'll see you in the next video. Love you all to pieces. Leave Bye bye.